Trump was making his return from being financially wiped out. He had purchased the rights to the old Gulf and Weston building on Columbus Circle. He knew in order to fully capitalize on the project, he would have to tap a well-known architect. So he hired the most famous American architect. Well, Philip Johnson was a very close friend of mine. He was much older than me, but I really liked him. I would go to the glass house with some friends and show him the great glass house, which was unique. And Philip was a, a great and brilliant architect. What at first appeared to be a home run for Trump turned out to be a potential disaster. The building was not heavy enough, and it swayed. There were reported cases of nausea on the higher floors. But there was a good reason to keep the existing frame. Had we ripped that frame down, we would have built a building that was only 13 stories tall because of the zoning. So we were grandfathered by using the frame. Trump sought the help of some of the biggest architectural and engineering firms to try to come up with a solution. The solutions ranged from the overly expensive to the absurd. In a last ditch effort, Trump reached out to his old architect. Sometimes the best solutions are the easiest. I suggested adding concrete sheet wall between the apartments. This added weight to the floors and stabilized the building. I've always liked Costas's design sense, but I also like his practicality. But there was a catch. He wanted Costas to remain as a ghost architect while he used Philip Johnson's name in all the ads and the marketing material. Philip also was a great marketer for the building. When he got up and spoke about the building, he was magic. Philip Johnson was one of the great marketing geniuses that I've ever known. I was working on my very first column for New York Magazine, and I called Philip Johnson and I asked him about his role, and what he said to me was that he was just the decorator, meaning he chose the, the particular shade of bronze for the outside of the building, for the exterior of the building, but I really needed to talk to Costas Kondilis because he was the guy who did the real work. The project was critically acclaimed, but not one that Costas could publicly take credit for. He wanted me to talk to Philip Johnson, but he didn't really care if I talked to Costas Kondilis or not because Trump only wants famous people to be more famous. 